Hey guys, Tim here from Algonaut. Alright, so if you want to make a really groovy house or tech house track that everyone can dance to, you really need some solid and groovy drum loops going on. Today I'm going to show you a method or a philosophy I tend to use when designing drums in my tracks. Essentially I split drums in half, so I can consider the fundamental drum samples and patterns, like the kick, hat, clap, and that kind of stuff, which I think most people understand. And then the second half is the character or groove loop that sits underneath them. This is where people often reach for like a vengeance drum loop or a loop from a sample pack. But I'm going to show you how Atlas is an absolute godsend for making your own groove loops. Also, I have the beta here of Atlas 1.4, so I can show off a few new features that are coming with that as well. As always, as part of these Underground Masterclass videos, you can download a free pack of all the samples, loops, patches, and MIDI from the description or from the website and use them royalty free in your own music. So let's get into it. Alright, so I have a project here that's sort of uh, half-baked, so uh, here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, it's got the basic fundamental drums all good to go, so I'll just get this out of the way, and what have we got? Alright, so a basic tech house drum loop, we've got the kick, clap, shaker, hat, and ride. Um, ride for the sort of upper, upper frequency energy, and basically one channel for each. So on each channel you've got one instance of Atlas. So I've used Atlas here just because it's really quick to kind of find that perfect sample in that map of sounds. And I'm just loading one sample into each instance. You can use as many instances of Atlas in your project as you want. Um, it's actually incredibly CPU efficient. Um, it's basically once the analysis is over and it's made the map, it's really just playing back samples in a kind of clever way. So we've got the kick, clap, basic patterns you'll be familiar with. Here's your clap, uh, here's your kick, and so on. Open hat, eighth ride, a bit of side chain. Um, and that's all going into a group uh, with a bit of um, compression, UAD compression. And that's your fundamental drums. So what we want to add now, oh, before I continue as well, there's a bass line too over here. Um, just a sort of tech housey kind of warm uh, resonant bass. Uh, pretty basic, real quickly. Um, one saw wave, one second oscillator for uh, warmth, filter, bit of chorus, um, and a bit of processing again from UAD and sidechain. Uh, we have a tutorial on the channel as well, if, um, if you're really into making bass, um, your own bass, check out the channel, there's a Tech House bass tutorial. Right, so, what we want to do now is we want to create a groove loop, or we want to add a groove loop to this uh, drum loop, this basic loop here. Which sounds alright, but it's too straight, too uh, a bit boring right now. So we could reach for, say, a drum loop in a vengeance pack or something, or a sample pack. But let's make our own, because uh, if you make your own, you have, well first of all you're guaranteed no one else is using the same loop in their track. And secondly, you have more control over the individual bits and pieces in that loop. Uh, and so, Atlas, coming to the rescue, is a really great way to create original drum loops real fast and really creatively. So just briefly, if you haven't seen Atlas before, just to run you through it, essentially what you can do is you can load your sample packs into it, and it creates these maps of samples that you can browse, everything all correctly categorized. And then you can create these drum kits um, with one button. We'll just pull the correct samples into each slot, and you're good to go with a kit. Um, I'll just briefly as well, one new feature in Atlas 1.4, arrow keys in the map. It's basically like playing Snake with your sample pack. It's great fun. Um, okay, so let's load a new map. We're going to go Maps. And we're going to go Algo Drums 5. So these are some samples that we've made that are pretty good for house and tech. No. We're going to hit new kit. And what have we got? Not too bad. Try it again. It's a pretty weird kick. That's a bit better. We'll make it a bit shorter using the shape knob. The shape knob is basically just an ADSR on one knob. Pulling it left pulls in the release. Um, going right is increases the attack. It's a nice little kick, snare, claps cool, basic hat, shaker's alright, pretty loud, um, and probably needs a bit of a fade in. So let's go to the advanced panel, pop that open, oh yep, another feature here as well, you can now zoom on the waveform, and we've also filled the colors in as well, so it looks a little nicer too. So let's add a bit of a fade to this, break that in, sounds a bit better, yeah, maybe a bit more, yeah, you can hear it. There's your fade. All right, cool. So we'll close that. Um, now what we want to do is basically make a drum loop and a full drum loop and then process the hell out of it. So let's go here, pattern. We'll solo the Atlas channel and let's start putting together a full drum loop. Kick. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. 
This is your clap. Nice crunchy clap. Grab those. Shift them back using commands. So a little bit off the drum so you can hear the transient and it'll sound a bit groovier. That's probably too much actually. All right. Offbeat hat. Classic house. Classic tech house. Um, as your shaker, I'll primarily on the offbeat, but we'll add a few extra notes as well. Lower velocity. Just, I don't know, making this up. I oh, should get some swing on there as well. Swing, I use 99% and then um, a global amount of 20%. So it's about 20% groove. Cool. Uh, what else can we get in there? Tom. Yeah, all right, get one of them in there. Um, and one there. All right, uh, new feature as well. Uh, let's do some automation. So Tom, we've got pitch. Um, we're gonna go configure, touch the pitch knob, and boom, now we can automate the pitch knob. So back into the pattern, pop into the second screen here. The last thing I touched was pitch, so there it is. We're just gonna set the second half to be an octave lower. Um, Cool. Um, all right. Uh, what else can we get in there? What else can we do? Closed hat. Not too bad, but it's a little bit too fat. Um, so we're going to pop open this little toggle switch. And, and basically, you've got here some secondary parameters. So we've got fine tune. People have been asking for that. So that's new in 1.4. And also the curve for the shape knob. So we'll make that nice and sharp. Back to shape and then make it nice and short. Short. Short, shorter. Yeah. Uh, we'll lock that as well. Um, okay, let's get some of those in. Um, where is the... There it is. Uh, we'll put one over here. Sounds pretty cool. It's a little bit... Um, I want to kind of wash it out more, so I'm going to use a ride. Wow. Weird ride. What else you got for me? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, that's what we want. All right, um, ride, ride, more rides. Okay, it's probably gonna be too loud. Cool loop though. Hmm, let's automate the shape. All right, so go configure, shape. Um, I'm gonna, mm, you gotta just pull this last section down a bit as well and then I'm going to ramp it back up again. What does that sound like? Yeah. That'll do. That's our full drum loop. So pretty, I just kind of winged that pattern. Um, basically go for gold. Now the task at hand is to process it in a massive way. So we have a rack here called drum loop processing. So let's check this on. So it's a bunch of um, so it's a bunch of UAD plugins. We love the plugins here at Algonaut. Um, they sound great. So what I'll do is I'll turn them off and turn them on one by one, so you can hear what they're doing. So there's our great loop. Uh, we got a preamp. This is I'm gonna dial back a little bit. This is adding some harmonic distortion to kind of thicken everything up. Add some sort of low uh, distortion of rumble. Add some high sort of like um, shine. That sounds nice. Uh, and then we've got a reverb. I'm shorten it a little bit more, actually. This is, this is basically putting everything in the same space, so it all kind of glues it together. Um, and then to furthermore glue it, we've got a compressor. Kind of sounds a bit un under process without it. Press the kind of gels at all. And then lastly, because it's going to sit in the mix, um, a high pass, low pass from a Poltec. So we got a high pass cutting off the 250 and below and the 12K and above. So that is the UAD processing. So what I'll do now is just turn it down a little bit in the mix. And let's hear that with the fundamental percussion. Nice, it really kind of thickens it up, adds um, some character, some groove. Without it, 
really straight, really boring. Just having that sitting there really livens up the drums. So that's cool. So let's um, record that loop. So we're going to go a new audio channel. And I'm going to go audio from Atlas, monitor in. Um, we're doing record. Turning the channel off so we don't have to hear it twice. And we're going to record this. All right, there's one drum that recorded right there. Um, also, we can go into Atlas now and save that kit. So let's go kits. Okay, saving this drum kit. Saving drum kit as Tech House Drum Groove 01. Boom. That saved out all the samples into a folder somewhere on my computer so I can give them to you. Um, right, now, we've got one drum loop. Let's just go now and hit new kit and we can generate a brand new drum loop um, with totally new samples but all in the correct category. So we'll go... Pretty cool. We'll change that clay valve. Yeah, that's actually probably even better than the first loop. All right, let's save this out. Drum kits, save kits. Uh, tech house, drum groove. Oh, Osu. Um, and we'll record that loop. Uh, cool. Second loop recorded. Okay, so let's add a baseline. Um, got a baseline. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Yeah, cool. Uh, real quickly, get some master fix going on. All right, up left, wide delay. Yeah, cool. All right, so we've got two audio loops. We've got two drum kits. For your viewing pleasure, I'll make one more drum loop. Alright, let's save that kit out. We're gonna go save kit. Uh, tech house, or we'll capitalize that. Tech house, drum groove 03. Close that. We're gonna record that kit. Alright, there you go. Three drum loops, three kits now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record uh, seven more. I'll fade to black, uh, do seven more kits, seven more loops, and then I'll show you what I come up with. Just give me a sec. All right, cool, so that's done. So I've got 10 audio loops now and 10 drum kits. Um, it took me about like three minutes. Uh, it was really quick. Um, and what was funny was that most of these loops as well were actually better than the, the original one that I made, just mainly because it chose samples that I wouldn't have normally picked. But turns out in combination, they were actually really cool. And I think the, the goal of writing music is to try and make something that stands out. And that's kind of the, the challenge and I guess the solution that Atlas kind of provides. So let's give them a listen. Ah, the first one that you heard. Sounds pretty good without it. Real straight and boring. So I'll go through them all and then we'll wrap up. All right, so there you go. There's 10 drum loops just like that. I mean, you don't really need to buy sample loop packs anymore. It's uh, it's getting crazy now. So um, 
So yeah, just to recap, all we really did was just basically take a full drum loop um, and running it through Atlas and then cycling out the samples with creative ones and interesting ones that it chooses for you and then kind of randomizing and picking the ones you like. Um, there's a whole bunch of processing on that loop as well, um, but it's not too crazy. Just some basically just some distortion, reverb, uh, compression, and a high pass, low pass filter. And then you're basically creating on mass uh, tech house groove loops, tech house drum loops to sit underneath your fundamental drums, which are what really drive the song. So yeah, remember you can download a pack of all these loops and kits and samples and stuff uh, from the description or from our website. And you can use them however you like in your music. They are completely royalty free. Um, we upload on our channel about uh, two or three videos a week. So make sure you subscribe. We do actually have, if you're into Tech House, we do have uh, a more thorough video on making Tech House bass. Um, I kept it quite simple in this tutorial, as well as the fundamental drums. There's a full on drum tutorial that goes into heaps of detail about how to get them sounding really groovy and, um, and that kind of stuff, how to process them to sit well in your mix. So make sure you check those out. But yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.